I'm kind of sad and happy about this. The average American is apparently going to eat 6,000 calories this Super Bowl weekend. Sorry, we wow. just love eating. 6, um, yeah, but it's important to love food and enjoy it um, because a lot of parties are going to go on. We don't want to waste it. Right, but you may be looking to boost your veggie intake after that. Yes, so you know who's coming up. Fit yes. Foodie Specialist Ali Davis uh, says knowing how to prepare those veggies the right way mm -hmm. could make the difference when you invite all those friends over to watch. Hey guys, we all know it's a challenge to get enough servings of vegetables in our diet every day. Raw broccoli and carrots only get you so far. And let's face it, your grandma's boiled Brussels sprouts, sad and soggy. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make roasted vegetables with my favorite kind of spices. We're bringing it back to the basics this January. Not only will your vegetables taste better, but cooking them the right way will enhance the nutrients. I'm here to prove to you that Brussels sprouts actually can be super flavorful if cooked the right way. They almost get a sweet caramelized flavor when they're roasted. Brussels sprouts are super high in vitamin K, which uh, protects against the immune system and builds your metabolism really high in fiber. Both Brussels sprouts and cauliflower and actually our broccoli are cruciferous vegetables. Cauliflower specifically has a ton of vitamin B in it, and it's really loaded with lots of fiber. Carrots with that bright orange color, we know that they have lots of beta carotene, which our body converts into vitamin A. That's really good for our eyesight. And then lastly, broccolini. This is a type of broccoli with a long stem. It's almost like asparagus. Broccoli has a ton of vitamin A as well and vitamin C, so it's gonna protect our immune system. I love how vibrant it is. It's got that long stem, which when it cooks is really tender and tasty. My favorite way to cook Brussels sprouts is honestly just with some garlic, salt, and pepper. I'm gonna use avocado oil, which has a super high smoking point. You don't wanna stay away from canola oil and other vegetable oils, which don't have a high smoking point. And we know that cooking some of those vegetables in some type of fat, whether that's butter or oil, actually makes those vitamins even more absorbable in our body. Now for the cauliflower, some oil and a little bit of lemon gives it a fresh, zesty flavor. For the carrots, I'm gonna do a combination of rosemary, Herbs de Provence, which has basil and oregano and thyme mixed in, and give those a toss. Carrots become so sweet when you roast them. They almost get a caramelized flavor. And lastly, for the broccolini, once again, we're using this avocado oil. And I'm gonna use some red pepper flakes. You don't need too much, the flavor goes really far. For most vegetables I cook, I set the temperature to 400 degrees. Your Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, carrots, they'll cook from 25 to 30 minutes, and your broccolini, a little bit less, probably about 15 minutes. Just make sure to watch as you're going. No need to cook them too long. You still want them to be bright and vibrant. Otherwise, you might lose the nutrient value. By knowing how to cook your vegetables the right way, not only are you increasing the nutrient value, antioxidants, fiber, vitamins, but they might just become your most favorite part of the meal. And who knows, grandma might be coming over to your house next time. Start the new year off just the right way by eating plenty of veggies. Back to you guys.